Another couple of teams that expect to play each other in the playoffs are Reigns at Bowles. They're both headed there. This game over at Bowles tonight for the regular season. That doesn't get much better than this game. Fourth down for the Vikings on their opening drive, and they're not punting. They're going for it. Ivory Durham to Willie right just out of reach, and Bowles takes over. Ensuing possession, Mac Jones with all day. He tells Nick McGee to go to the corner, and he does. So he fires it there, and he gets one foot in, and that's all they need. Touchdown, Bowles. Bulldogs up 7-0. Vikings answer right away with Willie Wright. Durham out of the pocket, going deep, and Wright is wide open for the easy score. Tie the game at 7 at that point. And Bowles led 10-7 in the third. Jones with time again on a wide open Nick McGee for his second touchdown and a half. Bowles was up by 10, 17 to seven. So what does that lead? Well, less than a minute to go in the half. Durham with the screen to Jeremiah Kidd, drags a defender into the end zone. The Vikings were not going away as Bowles led 17-13. The latest score we have, and we know that Reigns was driving, but Bowles leads this game 24-23. We'll try to update it. The winner wins the district. The loser will still finish as the runner-up and don't... Oh, it did go final. 24-23 is the final, so Bowles wins the district and gets to play at home. St. Augustine in the white at Middleburg in the black senior night at Middleburg. Robert Bernard being escorted by his sister Madison and his mom Kira there. District championship on the line. Yellow Jackets strike first. Cole Northrup on the read option. Keeps the heads around the end. Jukes one defender to the ground and He's into the secondary, finally dragged down at the three, 73 yards on that run. Second goal, Brandon Johnson walks in for the TD. St. Augustine is up at that point, 7 left. Broncos answers with a two-play drive. That's what happens when Alex Joe hits the hole and he's gone. He will not be caught. A 68-yard touchdown, game tied at 7. Ensuing St. Augustine possession. Jackets facing third and 22 at their own 17. Northrop to Chedron Daniel over the middle. Takes it to the Middleburg, 48, good for 35 yards, led to a field goal. St. Augustine led 10-7 after a quarter. Yellow Jackets going to win, 44-18. They win the district title. Middleburg runners-up are headed to the playoffs after going 0-10 last year. How about Parker playing at Ponte Vedra tonight? Only because the Sharks trying to go undefeated. Playing at home, also homecoming in Palm Valley. Undefeated Sharks wearing black, Terry Parker in the white. Start in the second half, Parker down 12-0. Cameron snap, rolling to his right, looks downfield. Beautiful pass to Mullen Hutchinson to the three-yard line, and Parker's on the doorstep. Direct snap to the tailback, works his way to the goal line, dives in. Parker is now down 12-8. PD gets the ball, and it's Nick Tronti setting up the screen to Hal Swan, gets behind the big guys and follows it down to the 10-yard line. 30 yards on the play. The Sharks have mastered the art of the screenplay. We've seen that all year long. In two plays later, Tronti on play action gets the pass out quick and hits Connolly over the middle for the TD. PV up 19-8. They're going to win 33-14, and they stay undefeated this year. Off to Fleming Island in the green as they're hosting White in the white. Daddy Eagle getting all the hugs at Fleming Island tonight. Take a look at late first quarter action. Eagles up 7-0. White facing third and goal at the one. Golden Eagles defense holds, holds Xavion Allen, who tries to sneak it in. Fourth and goal at the three-inch line. White goes for it. Allen with a play fake, rolls back, and heaves it in the end zone. But look at that. KB Ash reads it perfectly and gets the interception. Stays in 7-0 Fleming Island. Second quarter, up 10-7. White finally gets on the board to Adarius Smith around the left end into the end zone. White cuts the lead to 10-7, and that was the halftime score. Second half, Fleming Island pours it on, stretches the lead to 31-14. They're going to win 31-21 was the final. 